Polly Parsons Hills is one of the best field hockey players in the state. As a junior, she helped lead the New Canaan Rams to the Class L title with a 22-1 record. Last year we had a really strong team to begin with. Everyone on my team was super excited. We were super dedicated, devoted, and totally hyped for the season. It's, there's nothing more fun than having a super encouraging and electric team. While she has some serious skills on the turf, scoring 12 goals and adding 24 assists last fall, she has somewhat of a hidden skill, breakdancing. So I started, I was first exposed to breakdancing from my uncle Steve Graham, who grew up dancing in college. He was kind of, he was the nerdy kid who kind of got out there and pulled his calculator out of his pockets and his glasses. And he'd, he'd always tell me these funny stories, but I'd go pull him out during lunch and then he'd go dance for a little bit and then he'd come back in and go back to business school at Williams. And I just remember being like, wow, that is so cool. And I saw him. I'd see him dance when, whenever we went to go visit our cousins, and that was a really fun experience. You always have a few guys there, a few girls there dancing, breaking, having fun. And then I'd hopped in with them a few times, and I, he, he had a connection in Connecticut. So my coach, Sweet Lou, who I'm still in touch with today, is just I'm so lucky that he was so close and willing to coach me. That's really, it's been really special. It's been a great experience. And once she started, she was hooked, joining a crew led by Sweet Lou, and so that group is still together today. I think they've all kind of dispersed a little bit more, but they still get together and dance, which is really awesome to see. Um, but that's, that was a larger group I was a part of when I was younger. And then he actually started coaching at New Canaan Dance Academy in town, which was mainly focused around lyrical, tap dancing, ballet, just super fun, diverse dancing in that. And we, we brought in break dancing, which was super cool to be part of something that was new and upcoming. While she says she hasn't stopped breakdancing, field hockey has continued to be her calling, leading her to verbally commit to Cornell during her junior year. I wouldn't say retired. I definitely have aspirations of getting a little bit more active again. Mom will tell stories about me kind of breaking down in the kitchen whenever I hear a super good song on, maybe kicking the fridge every once in a while, maybe getting a cabinet or two, maybe a bruise. But I still, I still find time every once in a while to dance whenever I'm in the mood or whenever Sophie comes home from college, we'll dance, we'll get together and hang out. I am just so excited to play in college. I mean, I love meeting new girls, playing with new teammates, and I really believe that I can make a difference at Cornell. I know that Coach Andy Smith has been new, this is his third year now, and he is truly building an empire that I am very excited to be a part of. Parsons Hills will have big shoes to fill. Considering her mom and number one fan, Carrie Hills, was an All-American at Cornell in both field hockey and lacrosse. Polly's a really fun player to watch. She really sees the field well and she disperses the ball really well. Um, and it's, it's interesting because in New Canaan, she plays more on the defensive side, whereas in club, she plays on the offensive side. So she's a really versatile player and kind of depending on, you know, what the team needs her for, she's kind of able to adapt and, you know, kind of fill the, some of the gaps that are needed on the team to help out and distribute the ball. and you know, make things happen. Um, you know, I was kind of more on the forward mindset, you know, I was kind of scoring. My defensive skills weren't nearly as strong. I think Polly just can play both sides extremely well. And I think that's just makes her a, you know, just a really unique kind of player. Cause it's not often that you can take someone and put them in defense and then put them on the front line. If you need some goals or if you're getting hammered on the defense, you know, put her in there and she can hold strong. Oh, and her mom was a star at New Canaan and she loves getting to watch Polly and her sister Lucy play where she fell in love with the game. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really a special special thing for me, especially to have both my girls playing um, together on the varsity team at, you know, at the home of the Rams where um, where I was. I had so many great memories and sorry. Um, I, I had so many great memories here and it's so amazing to see them having those same traditions and support from the communities. And it's just such a great place to grow up. I feel lucky. I feel really lucky. The feeling is mutual as Parsons Hills enjoys having one of the best field hockey players in New Canaan history to look up to. I haven't really heard bad things from anyone who's played with my mom or has coached my mom and I really look up to her. She, she's made some really big shoes to fill and I can only follow her as a great role model. Not looking too far ahead off to Cornell, Parsons Hills still has one more year in the Ram red and white. I'm just really trying to soak up the last year I have here in New Canaan. There are so many incredible people here, opportunities, and just, 
I think the one thing that I'd like to focus on this year is giving back to my community. I've got, I've received so much support, so much love, and so many opportunities that I, I really want to make that possible for other organizations and other kids who are growing up to be a part of the youth programs here.